First, our big story tonight. 12 years after a sexual assault in the town of Madison, an arrest is finally made. Two days ago, authorities arrested a man who had been on the run. His name is 40-year-old Manuel Camposeco. He was arrested in Austin, Texas. He's accused of sexually assaulting his girlfriend's daughter over a four-year period dating back to 2002. NBC 15's Max Hess explains why this case spans more than a decade. Campo Seco was first arrested in 2002. According to a criminal complaint, the victim's mother told her daughter she had to lie about the abuse because her mother was dating Campo Seco and he had become the breadwinner of the family. When the charges still weren't lifted, the victim's mother put her on a bus alone to Mexico to prevent her from testifying in court. Now, since that girl didn't show up in court, the case was dropped with prejudice, meaning it could be picked back up at any time. Now in her mid-20s, the victim came back to Madison and first spoke out last year. Detectives got straight to work. Today I had the chance to talk with the lead detective of this case. I felt uh, really relieved and, and uh, um, I, I looked at the text a couple of times. Good. Detective Rob Hale with the town of Madison Police Department couldn't believe his eyes. I actually called down to Travis County and uh, made sure that uh, that was him. Uh, I, I looked at the photo just to verify. 12 years after allegedly sexually assaulting a girl in Madison, Manuel Camposeco was caught. First thing I did was I called the victim and uh, she was uh, very excited that she's finally gonna be able to have her day in court. Camposeco was arrested in a northern part of Austin, Texas by members of the Lone Star Fugitive Task Force. You can run, but you can't hide. We're going to eventually get you. Detective Hale says getting Campo Seco was a true community effort. And at the end of the day, see, so community reaches all the way to Texas. Detective Hale told me that they got the lead when they found a pattern in wire transfers to Texas. He made a call to a former colleague of his who works for Austin PD. And a short time later, Campo Seco was caught. The victim's mother now also faces charges in this case. She has a warrant for her arrest for intimidating a victim and aiding a felon.